Greetings, Avrex. Anonymous here again with another camp edition of the TPLA Training Hall. Um, again with me is Connor, one of our campers here. Um, and today we are going to be talking about how to use this guy for something other than fighting. What is a uh, saber staff really good for in practice? And we've, we've gone through some of it and, and we'll be doing more of those as, as we come in, in the coming days of the sparring with the different long weapons. But uh, we actually do use these guys for um, some skill work. And uh, mostly it's for orbiting and it's for just basic saber handling. So uh, the general gist of it is this. Since it has two blades, right, coming out of each end, when <clears throat> we're moving this around, we have to think, again, about two pieces. So. When I'm doing my orbits with the stick, like this, these will translate directly into a, into a regular orbit with, with a, with a uh, single saber. So if you could, uh, we'll have, get him going here. And actually, why don't you turn to the side, so, you can, so it's over to the, to the side, there you go. Put one foot forward, and go ahead and start going through the uh, motions there. Good. Okay, so as you see, as he's going through here, this portion right here, he's tucking underneath his his elbow or his armpit with uh, his off hand. Okay, and he's doing the same thing on the other side. Now we'll go into exactly what you're doing with this thing here in a moment. But if he lets go with his left hand and just continues this motion, you will notice that it essentially becomes a behind the back spin. Okay? So as we're going through this like this, this right here is the same motion as the behind the back or the OB anti spin. Now I'm running out of battery in this blade here, so this will be a good the dimmer blade is the back blade right here. So as I'm going through like this, when I let go, all of a sudden it becomes this. Okay? So, on one hand, this probably isn't the greatest thing to, to, uh, to uh, be defensive with um, in an actual fight, but it can train good saber handling. Um, now, the basics of it are, okay? So, as we're going to do this, we're going to hold it here like this in this position, with both palms down, okay? We're then going to turn it over and tuck this underneath the armpit. Now make sure that you're not hitting the blade, that you're using your hand as a guide there. Keep it out here, bring your hand to your armpit. Then we turn our waist and point the saber in front of us. Then we come down the front of it and over here. And so as we're going through here, we fold up, turn, unwind, fold up again, turn, unwind, fold up again. And we do that on each side, right? Good. Once we get that down, take this, point the blade down to the bottom, turn, unwind with it vertical, point the other one down to the bottom, turn, and do the same thing. Okay? Now remember, one foot is always forward. Okay, oh, bring your foot here and then stay to the side there. Okay? Because we don't want to be like this, right? This is not good. Okay? We want to be in a nice, narrow line like that. Okay? Good. So now, so, <clears throat> once you pick up your regular saber, after the, uh, the saber staff, right, you can see how this works. As I go around here, I'm going to tuck this under here. So it's almost like I've got my, my hands here. I take it under here, I point that pommel down to the ground, and I take it around like that. Okay? 
So it's the same motion as with the saber staff. When I'm doing it like this, I'm not doing the tuck, but when I do here, I do the tuck. Okay. Now, what this is training and what the saber staff will really help you do is keeping it in a line, keeping it close to your body. Hold on a second. <clears throat> All right, keeping it close to your body so that you don't hit yourself and so that you can execute your parries without really having to think about it. You can simply move the saber to where you want to go. Okay, and again, basic handling of the hill, right? So when I'm turning around like this, it's essentially the same thing as if I'm holding a stick and I'm doing this, right? And the same thing if I go around here, I can continue that two-handed thing. And if I'm two-handed here, I turn around and I do the two-handed thing here. Okay, so that behind the back thing, which is uh, which is so sought after, right, is really just something to do with that. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so, thank you for tuning in. If you have a saber staff, here's a little, um, some more little tricks that you can try using with it, and um, hopefully that will help your regular saber. Um, your single saver, and uh, hopefully you have fun with it. So, until next time, Darth Donovan is here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Connor, and happy savoring.